How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome back to another great phenomenal game. Okay, it's not that great considering that I lose, but the damage I get is pretty great for the tank that I'm in. Um I'm gonna be driving the FV two one five B, a very uh overlooked tier ten British heavy tank. It's basically got a little bit less DPM than the Chieftain, or does it? Let me make sure it actually Okay. Here, turn heavy is UK FE215B. Let's go with the Chieftain Mark VI. So the Chieftain gets 3,000 base DPM, and the FE215B gets a little bit less. At, I'm going to round it up 25 points, 2,900 DPM. Um, it also travels a little bit slower, 34.3 top speed, 12 kilometers an hour reverse speed. Of course, the standard damage for the gun is going to be 400 because it is a 120 millimeter caliber gun. Uh, 259 pen for your standard AP rounds, 326 millimeters of premium APCR pen, and of course, you get the British specialty round, the Hesh rounds, with 120 millimeters of penetration and 515 average penetration damage instead of the standard 400 for the previous two rounds. Um, the dispersion is at 100 meters, uh, yeah, the dispersion at 100 meters is 0.33, a very, very good accuracy for a heavy tank, uh, 1.70 aim time, um, yeah, the gun's aids, it can snapshot like a beast, and its, uh, turret rotation dispersion values are just crazy good. Gun elevation is a little lackluster at 15 degrees, gun depression also kind of lackluster for a medium tank, er, sorry, for a British heavy tank because it is a rear mounted turret so the gun depression isn't going to be nearly as good at 7 degrees it's got 410 meters of view range though 20 percent fire chance I don't think that's accurate for the console version I think it's a 15 percent fire chance on the console version I'm looking at tanks.gg of course and I know I can look at other sites for the accurate uh, World of Tanks console uh, stats but I'm not going to do that its accuracy is just, like, look at the fucking aiming circle for this gun. It's retarded how well it is, or how small it is, but it's awesome. It's not over an overpowered tank, it's just halfway decent. It, it's very good. Using all your gun depression, your uh, upper plate is <laughs> not very lackluster. 300 millimeters of protection in, like, the middle, and that's kind of really bad, because people can spam premium at you and pen you... 50% of the t time if you have 340 uh, heat or 330 APCR. No. What, whatever the very good APCR rounds do. I think it, APCR just goes up to 325 for medium and heavy tanks. Or 326. And then... Like, a crazy amount for a tier 10 TD. But, yeah. It's not the greatest... It's definitely not the worst, but they can upper plate you even at full 7 degrees of gun depression. Or they can shoot into your mantlet because it's only 260 or 270 millimeters thick, but trying to hit that from far away is practically impossible because of how, again, small the uh, mantlet is and how much of an air. Well, yeah, how, how little of an area it covers, so don't worry about that. Your turret is unpenable with all your gun depression. Your lower plate is a very lackluster 120 millimeters um, flat on with no angle whatsoever. And if, if you try to side scrape with this thing, there's a side plate on each side of the tank that gets equalized when you do that. So if they know where to shoot this tank, then uh, you're pretty SOL. You can't side scrape in it. Your only hope is to go hull down and use your tank like that. But you can side scrape in it because a lot of not not a lot of people know that you can pen it like that and if it turns its turret ever so slightly to one side you can just aim to the left of it or to the right of it whatever the opposite direction he's looking in and pen it with premium right near where it's attached to the uh, mantlet like right in the middle there so that's cool um, already is going to be your biggest problem with this thing I think um, but yeah you fire every 7.5 seconds and that's without the uh, premium consumable for the British line. So that's pretty funny for a 120mm gun. A lot faster than the E5, but 
we won't go into the E5 because that's not a tank we're talking about this time. So IS4, he misses me, tries to snapshot me like a champion. I track him, or somebody else does, and uh, I'm just going to keep dicking on him. Oh, and already sh shot at him. That's pretty funny. But I got premium loaded now, and uh, <laughs> he keeps missing me. He must have a damaged gun. I don't know what the fuck he's aiming at. But, my god. Like, this thing is a little bit better than the Chieftain, I would say. Not, obviously, for the DPM, but for the armor, because your upper plate is actually worth something. And the Chieftain had a very prominent hatch on it. A very flat, prominent hatch. And this one is a lot like the Super Conqueror, where if you get a hull down, there's not a lot anyone can do to contest you. Other than hit your upper plate. But, yeah. Again, with 340 heat, it's a 50-50 chance to go through with all your gun depression. So, I'd say you're pretty detect you're pretty uh, safe, but if people face hug you and aim down on your tank, uh, yeah, they're going to pen you every single time. And it's... It, you definitely don't want to be face hugging in this thing. <laughs> it's a support heavy, much like the Chieftain is as well. You can brawl in it. You can side scrape in it, like I said before, but there is a risk to that. Because if they know where to shoot you, then it's pretty useless to side scrape unless you're trading damage with your DPM against only one tank. And then it's fine, because you're going to hit them twice for every time they hit, hit you once, and they're obviously going to die faster. So, that's cool. I don't know how all my team just dies here, but that's exactly what they do. I see a free pen opportunity, I'm going to shoot the E3 and pen him. And, uh, yeah, that's a little bit more damage to my base values here. And do I get a free shot on the 60 TP? No, I don't want to give him my lower plate because for some reason, when I have that kind of shitty accuracy in tanks, my shot never goes where I put the, the fucking uh, reticle. But when they do it, they can do it on the fucking move from 400 meters away. So that's interesting, to say the least. Right now, I know I have 100 health, but they have two arty. And I'm trying to make use of my gun as much as possible here without making any, making any stupid mistakes. I see this uh, one-hit wonder over here, and he's down. He thought he could get away or try and flake me or something or get to the arty. I don't know. I probably could have used the full health grill at some point during this game. And you see him in K5. And when I die, he's at full health. It's pretty <sighs> infuriating, to say the least, because I thought... I thought maybe he could do something, but apparently he's too big of a coward to make his tank show because they have Artie and he could probably get one hit. But, like, they're all in the open, dude. What the fuck are you waiting for? If you're sitting there all game doing nothing, it just, oh, it's infuriating. And then, of course, the Artie on their team is dicking on me. It's fine. I biff a shot into the tracks instead of actually doing damage there. That was my own fault. And then I do believe I get a free pen. Yep, cool. That makes my damage, my base damage, almost up to 6k. And I do believe I fluff one more shot, do I? Yeah, I hit his auto bounce lower underneath his tank. And yeah, that doesn't go in for whatever reason. I see another free shot, bam, right into the side. And then I think this is where I die. And yep, not even by the 60 TP. By the arty. Because, like, look at him! Look at him! And of course he's a PS4 player. But that doesn't have any relevance because everyone just fucking doesn't use their head. Like, you you could have gotten 3,000 damage in the time that you were fucking hiding there like a coward. It just, it, it boggles the mind. Like, ooh, an E4 with 134 HP. And what are you going to do? Oh, well done. What are you going to do against an E4? Oh, you're going to panic and not shoot him. Nice. Well, what's he going to do? He missed, he, he didn't even fire his gun. Wow. Good job, dude. Fucking well done. Ooh. That's infuriating. And yeah, as you can see, I'm almost done with the sharpshooter contract. I, I'm on this screen for a lot longer than I need to be. I apologize for that. Probably could edit that, edit it to make it shorter, but whatever. It, it ugh, gives me a longer time to talk. So, yeah, I end up getting, what is it, 8,000-something combined damage in this game? And it's a loss, naturally, but... When we get to the team screen, there we go. You'll see uh, 8,100 8, damage combined. Definitely not a bad result, but like, look at the fucking team I was working with. Jesus Christ. Look at him! 
Look at him. The Grill? The one who was hiding the entire fucking game? He could have 5,000 damage. No question. He could have popped out and dicked on that 60 TP, no problem. And the arty was focusing me. So, what What was the problem? I, I don't understand. But, yeah, this is the next British tank. I'm going to 3 mark. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe. I care more about comments than I do subscribers, but I guess that goes hand in hand. So please do one of those, or like the video, or all, do all of that. Do all of that. It's, it'd be great. And I appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy my next video. Take care.